he develops a cautious trust in the outgoing Jesse Rugi. In less than 37 hours, that trust will be betrayed. It's now Monday, and three new people enter the picture. Uh, this is my friend, Nick. Uh, Nick, this is Graham. Graham Presley, Natasha Adams Young, and Kelly Carpenter. All just 17 years old are friends. While Graham Presley is friends with Rugi, the visitors don't know Hollywood at all. So we're all here, let's party, shall we? They, not surprisingly, Where are you from? take to Nick, What's you know? That? He is this sweet, innocent kid. They're a little curious at first. What, what grade are you guys in? How old are you? Um, I'm like 17, yeah. so. What is he doing cool. here? Why are you here? But Nick is unassuming. He's engaging, he, he's eager to please. But the girls notice Rugi's manner with Nick seems a little odd. Yeah, man, Nick's cool now, just uh, don't let him use the phone, all right? No phones? Yeah. And Nick Markowitz in that situation, I think wants to rise to the occasion and not perhaps express the degree of fear that he was feeling. I can't for the life of me believe that he wasn't in fear a good part of that time. He was going along with the program insofar as he could figure out what that program was. 75 miles south in West Hills, late Monday. The Markowitz family is frantic with worry. Nick didn't come home last night, so I'm wondering if maybe he might be at your house. Hi, this is Susan Markowitz. Yeah, yeah, Nick's mom. Have his mother seen? Susan's one hope is that Nick ran off to his brother Ben's. But by afternoon, that hope disappears. Ben! Ben didn't know where Nick was. Every, Every single one. one. And in that, I think, heightened the level of fear greatly. It became a very dire situation very quickly at that point. Is there any way had a girlfriend? The family redoubles their efforts to find him. We'll go to the school. We'll go to the school. Um, okay. They blanket the community with Nick's photo and wait. I got a pillow and slept on the couch in hopes of hearing him, being the first to see him when he walked in the door. An hour and a half's drive north. It's late afternoon. Yeah, my pop's about to get here, so uh, can we go to your house? Yeah. Uh, and Ruby and the others move, with oh. Nick in tow, to oh. Natasha's house. The party has picked up again, you know, one more day. They're smoking weed and drinking beer. Ruby tries to hide his rising anxiety. It's been all day, and he still has no idea what's to be done about Nick. So are you guys heading Fiesta? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Then, Hollywood finally calls. He's in town. All right, I, I gotta head up, guys, so I'll catch you later. At 4 p.m., Rugi leaves to meet him. Can you do me a favor, ladies? <laughs> Keep Nick from the phone. Why? Keep him occupied. And now for the first time in this drama, none of the original kidnappers is present. What's the deal with this whole, like, phone thing? The girls, curious, prod Nick. Until he, like, finally, he reveals the truth. They, like, grab me. Kidding me? What? Are you serious? What are you talking about? And they're a little confused. It's sort of hard to process that. Have you been like kidnapped? And they they begin stolen? to call him I mean, the stolen boy. You're like our stolen boy. <laughs> because kidnapping isn't really adding up for what they're experiencing at that very moment. 